Hey there, this is Peter. It's 1 p.m. on Wednesday, June 1st, um, and we're talking about discounts on top of discounts. Adam is entering the waiting room. Have I got you there, Adam? Not hearing you yet. Oh, you do. Right, because you don't have a microphone on the computer that you're on. Okay. Hello, it's 1 p.m. on Tuesday, July 26th, meeting with Mark and Adriano Fiore. Howdy. Yeah. Chef's kiss. <laughs> That's uh, good. You, you do that for the recording? Yeah. Um, I'm smart. And then when, when uh, people aren't exactly on time, um, then I can just be like, oh, we're meeting with Mark today. Uh, Mark um, sells cheese paper, cheese bags, cheese-related items. Um, and <laughs> if they're like five minutes late, then I go into my five-minute stand-up routine. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, there's this, the, the first time I did this, at a certain point, I gave up on the client showing up. And so I was like, oh, this might be a good uh, teaching moment. So well, you know, uh, I started kind of like talking to whoever might watch this and say, this is what I generally do. And, da, 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 da. and then I got a little silly. And then all of a sudden the guy shows up. Recording in progress. Oh, hello, future person watching this for future reasons. I am waiting for Eric and possibly Catherine to join us. And you are in the future. After the wars, probably. It is Thursday, August 25th, 2.01 p.m. It's April 13th, 2022. I saw a podiatrist today who recommends orthotics to support my arches. They, uh, they made a pretty good case for it. I agree with them. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get them. I'm going to wear them. It is Tuesday, September 6th at 3.45 p.m. And Matt is entering the waiting room. Getting ready to say hello to Mallory. I think... Maybe she can hear me and see me now, and I'm waiting for her audio to connect. Maybe not. In Calgary, Alberta, which would put us at, uh-oh. Uh, what is it? 145 in Calgary? It's now 246. No participants have showed up yet. It is 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, September 21st. My name is Peter Aitchison. I am meeting with Dixon, who is about to come into the room here. We will say hello to Dixon. Uh, so pretty excited, actually. Uh, I've heard that, you know, orthotics will uh, change your whole body. Make you feel better all over. And aren't we all looking for that feeling better all over? I know I am. I feel pretty good, though, all over on the whole. It is 1 p.m. on Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. Turn off fountain. Turning off my little fountain, gurgling away. Um... Today, we are meeting with Authority Meredith, I believe, whom I have yet to meet. Meredith, looking forward to meeting you, Meredith. And uh, this is a coaching call. We're going to go over um, a bunch of stuff in the back end um, to um, make some edits. No code edits. We're going to learn. We're going to have some fun. We're going to get started any minute. We are now two minutes in. Um, I'll take a look in the Slack channel, see if there's been any uh, 
conversation here. There was a reply. Um, Thanks, sound good. Yes, please take Louisa on the embed. I did. That was last communication five days ago. Um, I've put through a cycle that has not yet been confirmed. Do I have any emails that would suggest maybe anything was unclear? That is the spreadsheet that I've got prepared. It is one, a one. We Meredith did confirm in the calendar that she would be attending. I usually wait until like two minutes past the hour to put a little note in the channel. Let's see, am I, I'm not still waiting. I was gonna paint a picture today. Talking to no one here. Uh, still not joined, okay. Eric, and then when I sat down to do it, I was like, it's too messy in here. So I started tidying up. You can see the mess is still there over my my left shoulder because it was like, oh, well, if I'm going to clean there, then I got to clean this. And there's so much that you don't see out of frame. That's just like disaster. If I were to swivel the camera one way or the other, it's just, it's not that bad. It's not a disaster. Accepted. When was that? Today at 104 p.m.? Updated information in Google Calendar. Let's maybe it's a different link, but um, I'm going to grab our meeting link, copy invite link, and just give Meredith a little hey, I'm ready in the Zoom room. It is almost 2 p.m. on Wednesday, July 27th, talking with Lindsay from May. Oh, we're going to be uh, discussing a tutorial video on how to use the virtual showroom. And we're also going to be talking about uh, putting together a questionnaire to find your style, um, which is a brainstorming project. We are also going to talk about a cycle that is in progress that just needs an adjustment to be made. It was assigned to the wrong developer. I slept later than I usually do today. It was my wife's birthday last week, and some of her work colleagues threw her a surprise party last night. So I was up a little later than I usually would be. And it is hot and humid today in Ontario. I'm in Kitchener and Lindsay, who will be joining this call, is an hour west down the 401 in the forest city of London, Ontario. Which I am very familiar with. I went to college at, I'll just keep on going here. Uh, I went to Fanshawe College in London and then uh, subsequently uh, lived and worked there for a few years. Uh, I've attended community events in Harris Park. I've attended community events in Victoria Park. I... I've attended events in White Oaks Mall. I've attended events in Masonville Mall. I used to work in Argyle Mall. That's on the wrong side of Adelaide, east of Adelaide. Nobody's watching this ever. Except you. I'm sure the uh, WRPS is protecting and serving. That's the Waterloo Region Police Services. I live in the region of Waterloo. Not the city of Waterloo. I live in the city of Kitchener, which is connected and just south of the city of Waterloo, the municipality of Waterloo. 
sometimes referred to as the Twin Cities. And then you got Cambridge down a little bit further south. And they'll they'll say like Tri-Cities, but you never see anybody in Waterloo or Kitchener saying Tri-Cities. It's like Cambridge has this thing where they're like, we want to be a part of the group. And I mean, if you're going to go to Cambridge, then you might as well go to Guelph and have the Quad Cities because it's it's much more separate than the three, but it's really close anyways. Launch meeting. I think we're already in it. He's accepted, but not joined. Okay. No. 2.45 Eastern Standard Time. That's where we're at. Okay. I think I've done everything right. Could we add a fifth? The... Twin, try, quad. What is it? It's a hexagon, hex, pent, pentagram, pent, pent. Is that five? Would it be the penty cities? The pent cities? I got to Google it now as we wait for Meredith. Hey there, and this is Peter. It's June 16th, Thursday at 12.57 p.m. Preparing for a meeting with Mark of... Um, it was my birthday yesterday, and I went to a teppanyaki restaurant. So much fun. They threw broccoli at us to catch in our mouth, which at any other restaurant you'd leave a bad review for, but we were cheering for it. It's good fun. All right. It is 1.59 p.m. on Tuesday, September 13th. I will be meeting with Meredith um, regarding the whiskey. And we're going to be going over some questions they have on things that they can do themselves in the back end of Shopify a coaching call or tutorial session. Um, this would be our second call of this nature. A few weeks ago, we had a call, uh, we learned a bunch, and they went off to apply what they've learned. And of course, that's going to bring new discoveries, which will bring new questions. She's not trying to get in, is she? Okay. Um, Let's try try cities comma quad cities comma five cities question mark. Hmm. Are we there yet? The quad cities is is some Davenport, Rock Island, Moline. These are all in Illinois, Iowa, Illinois and Iowa. Let's get back to feeling good all over. Let's get back to the orthotics. Um, pricey. Uh, 200 or $495, but my benefits that my wife has will only cover 350 and my benefits uh, that uh, are coming to me uh, through uh, my employment uh, in this fashion um, have yet to be activated. Now we're looking at a wispy mustache. Quint, Quint cities, that makes sense. Quint, quintuplets, right? Not pent, but pent is... Pentagon is a five sided. The quint. All right. Okay. We figured it out. The quint, the quint city. So if we were to add a fifth, I didn't pick the city. Uh, I mean, Elmira, north of Waterloo. Not much of a city. Um, I think, I think the Quad Cities is a push. We should probably 
even pull back on the Tri-Cities and just focus on the Twin Cities. Probably could have waited to start recording until I saw somebody there. But it's not going on my hard drive, so let's use up that cloud storage, Zoom. Recording in progress. It is Tuesday, September 13th at 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 12.15 p.m. Pacific. Is calling in from Burnaby, a British a Columbia. Welcome, Jackie. It is 1.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday, September 20th, 2022. I am meeting with Chris P from as the Slack channel and the website uh, in Shopify is to list. We take a look at the current live site. Uh, this is men's sexy underwear. Very sexy men. It is 1 p.m. on Tuesday, August 30th. Um, we are meeting on Zoom. Uh, this didn't actually create a Zoom link in the calendar. So uh, I have just posted this to the channel. Hopefully Meredith is seeing that. Um, we're going to have Ashley as well with us, but I don't see her in the channel. So hopefully Meredith shares that link with Ashley. Um, just waiting for Chris right now. And um, I can tell you about my morning. Went for a walk. Um, listened to a podcast that I've been enjoying while walking. Um, they even talked about walking in the podcast um and i'm wearing a western shirt today because i will be uh submitting an audition for a western production sometimes not often but sometimes i do a little bit of acting either on camera on stage or voiceover okay my standard is after five minutes of being late, I go on about my business. I take care of my life and my obligations, my priorities. I'll, I'll grab the invite code and just drop it in the channel and be like, hey, Eric, I'm ready for you. So it's 3.30. I have a meeting. Oh, it's 3.31 now. A meeting with um, Eric. I noticed this morning when I logged in, looked at my schedule, I had something scheduled. So it's now 3.31 and I'm just gonna go here, get an invite, copy invite link. Okay, and close and send that to Eric. Just say, hey, I'm ready for you. Um, I found a morel mushroom yesterday on May 9th, 2022. And then we give that a couple of minutes. Usually, I guess I would have done that after two, three minutes. And then after five, thought, okay, they're obviously, they're not ready for me. Even if they get this and they rush to the meeting, well, they're not ready because they weren't ready. So then it's going to be coming and hawing. Or maybe they can just snap in a gear. Let's hope Eric can do that. So it's morel season, as far as I understand. They grow when the, um, the ground temperature hits 10 degrees Celsius. 
So of course you want overnight temperatures of about 10 degrees Celsius, um, which we haven't really hit, but we're getting close to it. Anyways, I was out for a hike with my friend Allie and we were finished the hike on our way back to the car. And there it was just poking out of the grass, a morel, like undeniably a morel mushroom, which I've looked for many times, never found. Um, never discovered. And, uh, you know, I've heard all the hype. So I was really curious to taste it. So I cooked it in some bacon fat and garlic over a skillet on a fire. It was one of the most delicious things I've ever eaten in my life. It was so full of flavor, just a little bit of pink salt just delicious here comes eric uh i guess this all started because i was talking about the wr the the, the 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 wrps waterloo region police services and guelph isn't in waterloo region it's actually in wellington county so that's probably why we don't have the quad cities they're in two different uh counties You have counties in BC, right? It's the same all over Canada, isn't it? Broken up into counties. The other day I was in a meeting and I was putting Bucky on my shoulder. I don't know if anybody noticed. I think I think Jody noticed. I wasn't like doing that with my body. The camera, I guess I was on a different camera. The angle was such that I could just move it a little bit and get him right up there on my shoulder hey bucky how's it going not too bad peter what's happening sup guys that's uh that's my bucky voice let's go back to the channel um let's see what is going on here i have an appointment Meredith L. One to two. June 14th. Tomorrow is June 15th. And it's somebody's birthday. Gonna go get a massage. I've I've cleared my schedule. I'm gonna go get a massage. Um, maybe spend a bit of time looking at Lake Ontario. Maybe, maybe spend some time in Lake Ontario. Um, and uh teppanyaki. We're gonna go get some teppanyaki a little. Dinner and a show, chop, 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 spin the egg, throw the shrimp. Hit me with a spatula, sir. Um, it's my birthday. I want to be hit with a spatula. I will not be doing that. I have been a server, a bartender. I've been in the service industry and I always try to uh, treat my servers and chefs and cooks with the utmost respect. Uh, they're feeding us for goodness sakes. Can't live without it. Hey, let's let's do some development. Your development's ready for review. Watch the job report. <laughs> and I haven't had teppanyaki since my honeymoon, which would have been September of 2013. That was great. The best shrimp I've ever had in my life at the Bahia Principe in Runaway Bay, Jamaica, with my second wife, Esther. She's my current wife as well. And uh, we had a great time in Jamaica. We were just talking about this last night. It's like, oh, I want to go like see Jamaica. We went to the Bahia Principe Resort and we spent, you know, we flew into Montego Bay. We got on a uh, transport uh, a little little van bus they took us to the resort we spent a week there we got on a bus went back to the airport we didn't really see jamaica um we saw a resort with beautiful beaches it was wonderful um, but now i'd like to go and see the country see the people eat the food off resort um 
251. No response from Eric. Give him, well, 252. Now, I'm just letting this roll because this is a great video of me waiting. I'm seeing opportunities now where it's like, oh, okay, this is the, the video of an example of uh, someone not showing up. Maybe this winter. I was thinking, I found a little villa in Aruba that had like five rooms. And I thought, oh, I wonder if we could get like five Sun Bowl employees to go work together in the tropics this winter for a week or two or three or a month. Whatever. We are now at 2.20 p.m., five minutes past the scheduled meeting. Let me just double check that. I got the notification. It was for 2.15. He said he was going to join us. I have put a note in the channel. Working on some lampshades here. This one's... Uh, not quite done yet. I'm going to add, still filling this in, but I think that's going to go below there to cover more. Oh, Eric's coming. Great. Hello, Eric. <laughs> Here he comes. One to two. Oh, no, she's not in. She canceled. All right. Okay. Well, uh, that's all for today and have a lovely day. There he is. How you doing, Eric? Hey, hang on one sec. Um, this is where I get to just talk about things or clean my screen, which is what I'm doing right now. I got swarmed by bees yesterday. Yeah. Honeybees. Swarmed. I suffered um, at least three, maybe four, maybe five stings. My forehead and my neck back here. I don't know how well you can see it. Got some hydrocortisol on there to aid with the itchy, itchy, scratchy bits of it. But boy, if you had have seen me flailing and waving, trying to get away from the, when they have your scent, and I think that was the problem is I, uh, had been working out in the sun and had quite the scent. Um, I'll leave it there. But uh, when when they when they want to come at you, they come at you, and they went for the face and neck. They knew what they were doing. I, I was just trying to walk past them. I generally will go by the beehives and just walk through them. If you go nice and slow, not a problem. Maria.